This afternoon, a 10-year-old among seven youths arrested after two police chases. Two more coronavirus clinics open in Adelaide as billions in value is wiped off the share market. An emotional farewell for Hannah Clark and her three children. Meghan comes face to face with the Queen for the first time since leaving the firm. Plus all the fashion and fun of a big day out at Morfittville. This is 7 News Adelaide with Rosanna Mangiarelli. Good afternoon. Seven children have been arrested following two separate police chases involving stolen vehicles in the early hours of this morning. One car was only brought to a stop after police spiked its tyres. The other crashed into a light pole. Well, it was here at Ingle Farm where a joyride involving five children, including a 10-year-old boy, came to an end early this morning. Security footage shows a car being stolen after keys were pinched from a Redwood Park home in a break-in. The vehicle was spotted speeding along Main North Road at Elizabeth East by police soon after. It was followed south with some passengers ditched at Para Hills. The rest tried to make a run for it at nearby Dallas Court at Ingle Farm after the car crashed crashed into a light pole. As we looked out our bedroom window, there was a car up on the curbway. The cars were really very fast. They just smashed down the road. The alleged driver, a 17-year-old boy, and four other kids aged between 10 and 14 were arrested soon after. But this wasn't the only dramatic pursuit involving children this morning. A 15-year-old girl and 15-year-old boy were arrested around 7.30 following a lengthy pursuit on the southeastern freeway in a stolen car. Police spikes were used at the Stirling exit, but the car continued on shredded tyres before it was eventually stopped south of the Mount Barker summit. The drama causing long delays for peak hour commuters. All seven children involved in the pursuits have been refused bail and are due to face court tomorrow. Two more dedicated coronavirus clinics have opened north and south of the city. They come as authorities make a plea for only those returning from overseas with symptoms to use them. Mike Smithson has the latest. New facilities to combat the coronavirus scourge have opened here at FMC and also at Lyle McEwen in the north. The good news is that no new cases have been reported over the long weekend. But authorities only want those with symptoms who've just returned from overseas, and that can be from any country. There are many people, however, in our community that are also worried, but they're not sick and they haven't had any recent travel. The worried well is a new term for those who are clogging the system, but are of low to non-existent risk. Please, we, we are requesting that you don't come to these specific clinics because these are clinics for people who need to have testing done. We've got excellent systems in place to help us um, screen uh, for patients who may meet the criteria for testing. The Premier's in an awkward position with an upcoming US trade mission. Does he go and run a health and public relations risk or does he cancel and perhaps look like he's succumbed to unnecessary alarm? No cause for alarm or panic. We need to continue to go around our daily business. And in other health news, pharmacists are now legally permitted to give flu shots to anyone from 10 to 16 years old. And coronavirus has had a major impact on the share market today with the ASX 200 down more than 450 points. More than $136 billion in value was lost. It's the biggest one-day fall since the global financial crisis. Two firefighters have been treated for smoke inhalation after battling a large grass fire at Turingi this afternoon. Crews tackled the blaze on the ground and in the air with multiple water bombers making drops as the fire burned slowly away from nearby homes. The fire was sparked by a whippersnipper. Domestic violence victims Hannah Clark and her three children have been laid to rest in a single coffin after a heart-wrenching funeral in Brisbane. Joel Dry was there. The congregation of more than 1,000 filled the Mansfield church fronted by just one single casket. The rows were filled with dignitaries, the Premier, the Prime Minister and Police Commissioner. But mostly it was just loving friends and family. It was her brother, Nat, that spoke first of his loss, but also his love. A family trip to SeaWorld, his lasting memory of Hannah, Aaliyah, Leana and Trey. The day was a pure joy. If you've ever tried to get five kids to behave, it's no easy task. 
but that day they were angels. The most emotion was shown by her two close friends. Lou and Nikki touched on the anger at the circumstances surrounding the four deaths, but again it was the positives that they wanted to dwell on. The impact that the loving family of four had on so many lives. Our lives are forever changed because of you, because of Aaliyah, because of Layana and because of Trey. There was also a special meeting at the end of the service. The family asked to meet the first responders from that tragic day. They wanted to offer their special thanks for what they did for that family right at the very end. Police are hunting an arsonist after a Marden home was torched in the early hours. No one was inside when the blaze took hold, causing extensive damage to the front of the Griggs Street property. Police found accelerant at the scene. It is scary. This is normally a peaceful, quiet neighbourhood, so yeah, hopefully it will be just a one-off thing. The devastated owner who was renting the house out says it will now have to be demolished. A driver's been treated in hospital after flipping his car on the Oban track near the Modbury interchange. Police say he took a wrong turn just before midnight and travelled 500 metres before his hatchback careered into the centre pit and toppled onto its roof. The 43-year-old managed to free himself and was taken to the Royal Adelaide for mandatory drug and alcohol testing. It took a crane four hours to remove the car from the track. An axe-wielding robber turned down a free pizza when he held up a northern suburbs pizza hut overnight. He demanded cash, but with no dough kept on the premises, the owner at the Paravista outlet offered to whip him up a takeaway. The bandit fled empty-handed. He's of African appearance and around 185 centimetres tall. An alarming rise in crime has been directly linked to savage budget cuts. The opposition says car thefts are up by 24% and aggravated robberies are even higher. It's pointing the finger at a $38 million cut to the police budget. If you want to have a safer community, you invest more in police services, not less. You invest more in community safety programs and not less. But the government's accusing Labor of cherry-picking the stats, saying it's putting more cops back on the beat. Harry and Meghan have joined the Queen for a church service as their official split from the monarchy draws closer. It was the first time Meghan had seen the Queen since the couple's bombshell announcement. Sarah Greenolch has more. After two months of drama, Meghan and the Queen came face to face for the very first time since before the January 6th Megxit announcement. Harry and Meghan arrived at the church service looking pretty happy, pretty relaxed with Harry in the driver's seat. The Queen reportedly invited them there to show her support for the couple. It comes as the Duchess of Sussex completes her final solo engagement as a working senior member of the royal family. She went to a secondary school in London where she met with the kids. She then delivered a a speech in front of about 700 students at a school assembly ahead of International Women's Day. If there is one brave young man in this room who wants to come and say what he thinks the importance of International Women's Day is, I know there's going to be one of you. She really is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> That little interaction has received uh, global media attention and perhaps it's a reminder for Harry and Meghan of what they are leaving behind, what they are giving up here in the UK as they start this self-imposed exile in Canada. But before they do that, they have one final engagement, the showdown at Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey tomorrow. The whole family will be attending, including the Queen and the world will be watching very closely. We have some incredible pictures to show you now. This is the foyer of the Epworth Freemasons Hospital in Melbourne, which was turned into a delivery room when a young mum didn't quite make it into the lift. Patients got quite a shock when the doors opened, only for them to be greeted by the chaotic scene. Doctors helped her deliver her baby boy right there on the floor. Both mum and bub are doing well. Now, the 150th Adelaide Cup has just been claimed by King of Leo Grants, Amelia Mulcahy's trackside. And Amelia, it was watched by thousands. 
Rosanna, it's absolutely electric down here at Morfordville at the moment. There are around 14,000 people here and that's what the South Australian Jockey Club was expecting and those figures are about on par with last year's crowd numbers as well. Now, the SAJC says it's pleased it could attract so many people here given it's arguably Adelaide's busiest weekend of the year. Now, those who, of course, did make it trackside made the most of some of the marquees around here and trying to pick a winner or two during the program. It was a perfect autumn day weather-wise and it made it ideal for those who wanted to dress up for the occasion. Fashions on the field proved popular as always with this year's women's and men's winners taking contrasting approaches to their outfits. Doing some last minute alterations yesterday to it and it um, just came together, put the patch in for the cutout because I like to dress a little bit more traditional for the races. I want to um, uh, find something that they still play to summer, hold on to the yellow and then bringing through the winter through the wool in the suit. Um, I got the suit from an op shop uh, in Ireland. Now there's just race eight and nine still to go here at Morpherville, but the fun doesn't stop there with a big after race concert. Expected to see celebrations continue well into the night, so no doubt some very sore heads here at work tomorrow. Speaking of which, I'll be back with tomorrow's forecast a little later in the bulletin, Rosanna. Hopefully not with a sore head, but there will be a few. She's right. That's yeah, for sure. always a big day. Looks like a fun one, but a brilliant run um, by the favourite, wasn't it, Nikki? Yeah, he's trained by Lloyd Williams mm -hmm. and King Ali Grants was completely and utterly dominant in the Adelaide Cup, which only ran a short time ago. Yeah, we'll have all the details ago. shortly. Also coming up, it'll be hard to top the Australian women's cricket team's night out after their World Cup victory and a horror day out for City's goalkeeper in the Manchester Derby. Time of death, 10.22 a.m. The mysterious case of Jane Doe. We're going undercover. I found him. Yeah, no. Will playing detective go too far? New The Good Doctor, Tuesday after MKR on 7. Now's the perfect time to get artificial grass with Australian Outdoor Living's Choose Your Own Sale. For the first time ever, you can choose from three amazing offers. Our realistic artificial grass is resistant to drought and UV damage, extensively tested and expertly installed. Enjoy a perfect lawn all year round with artificial grass from Australian Outdoor Living. Australian Outdoor Living. In 300 metres, turn right. But if you're driving a T60, turn left. Who needs roads when you're driving a T60? You have five-star safety and state-of-the-art technology. Use it. Your destination is on the left. Do you really want to stop? Didn't think so. The LDV T60 Pro, now from 27490 Drive Away. That's $1,500 off, and that's cute. It's why more people are saying it's LDV for me. For a better way to buy garden power tools, go to your local still dealer and clean up this autumn with still specials on now. Like battery blowers from only $179, grass trimmers from only $199, petrol blowers from only $279 and chainsaws from only $249. Plus a free spare chain with selected models. Still tools only from still dealers. There's 600 nationally. Find yours at stilldealers.com.au. Better still. Convicted drink drivers get a police record for at least 10 years. When applying for a travel visa, you may need to declare your criminal conviction. And where could that leave you? Nice move, brown horse. At MyCare Solution, we know nothing compares to the comfort and familiarity of home. When your loved ones need support, MyCare Solution is there to help with a dedicated care manager and a highly trained care team, offering a full range of premium in-home care services. My Care Solution gives peace of mind 24-7, caring for your loved ones with skill, dignity and compassion. My Care Solution, help your loved ones live at home where they want to be. Why join Booper? Because you'll get six weeks free on eligible products. That's six weeks free. Because who doesn't love a great deal? Booper. Because life happens. Call Booper to find out more. T's and C's apply. The Australian Outdoor Living Sale is on now. Be quick to secure your aluminium roller shutters. Have more control over temperature, light and noise in your home with quality Australian-made roller shutters. Marco. 
What are you doing here? Would you forgive your brother if he tried to steal your wife? You're not welcome here. Last thing I wanted to do. Ben, there's something I wanted to tell you for the past 20 years. Just tell Ben that we slept together. Home and Away, this week on Seven. Hello again. The Australian women's cricket team continues to bask in the glory of a record-breaking World Cup victory. Last night's final against India was the most watched women's sporting event in history and the Aussies capped it all off with a dance alongside Katy Perry. Well, a whirlwind 24 hours has continued for our T20 World Championship side. The Aussie women presented on stage to hundreds here at Federation Square in Melbourne their fifth T20 World Cup title, one that will be remembered as a landmark moment for women's sport in this country. Just over 86,000 fans packed into the MCG as the Aussies completed a flawless performance with a dominant win over India. There's no better feeling than being world champions and last night was epic, it was amazing. Uh, we had so much fun, can't wipe a smile off my face. While the victory was impressive, the celebrations were on another level. On stage as pop star Katy Perry wowed the crowd. You don't have to feel like Oasis face. Your original cannot be replaced. There's this photo of me hugging Katy Perry, and if anyone knows me, I don't hug many people. And I've just got sheer joy on my face, so uh, that was pretty cool. After some more celebrations, the next chance these Aussie women will get at World Cup silverware will be next year in New Zealand with the 50 over World Cup. Before that, it's a series against South Africa later this month. Thanks, Andrew. Well, the Swans could be without Will Hayward for their round one clash with the Crows at Adelaide Oval after the young gun Ford collected North Melbourne's Curtis Taylor with this head-high bump. The hit sparked a bit of push and shove and will be looked at by the AFL's match review officer. Taylor and his ruse recovered, though, finishing strongly to win by 11 points. In other practice matches, Eddie Betts kicked two of Carlton's opening three goals. And Eddie Betts is going to kick the first goal. Park. He's impressive, isn't he? Charlie Cameron also kicked five for Brisbane. Grant Birchall was good for the Lions in their 45-point win. Led United has dropped to seventh on the A-League ladder in the EPL. City's goalkeeper had a nightmare in the Manchester Derby. United took an easy lead before a horror mistake sealed the result. The 2 0 win means Liverpool need just two more victories to secure the Premier League title. And a perfect ride by jockey Damien Lane has helped favourite King of Leo Grants win the 3,200 metre Adelaide Cup. But the King will be crowned, it's King of Leo Grants. What a win, he races away to win by two lengths over good idea, brave and defeat. You know, there'd be no reason, no matter what they set him for, whether it be a Sydney Cup or, you know, uh, whether they go to uh, Dan to Rance and try and get him in the Melbourne Cup, you know, there's no ceiling on him yet, he's just, he, he's still improving. It's the second Adelaide Cup win for trainer Danny O'Brien. So King of Leah Grant's looking the goods and 3,200 metres, that's the same distance as the Melbourne Cup. Yep, Maybe we'll see him one. there one day. Yeah, that might be a good idea too. No, it was an awesome day. Thank you so much, Nikki. Do stay with us right after the break. Amelia will be back with the latest weather after a beautiful long weekend. You're turning a dog into a cat. Cat, cat. <gasps> Rebels turning Thursday into Thursday. <laughs> the most incredible transformations will lead to a dog being turned into a cat. I wonder if the dog's going to get a bit of a complex. But will it be a catastrophe? <laughs> Rebel Wilson's... You still got it. Hooch Perfect, Thursday, 7.30 on 7. Inspirations Paint, Parafield and Seaton. Creating something that feels just right. That's an art. It needs just the right amount of room to move. Elegant lines, a unique flow. Everything exactly in its place. Precisely crafted and beautifully finished. So when you try it, well, you just know. All new Mazda CX-30. Everything just right. 
should plan our funerals, you know. It's not that big a hill, Beth. No, really. It's insurance. You can personalise things. Have your say. With a prepaid funeral from Blackwell Funerals, your payment is safely held in a trust until needed. You might see her miss out on the excursion, but you don't see her parents struggling to make ends meet. You might see her worn out uniform, but you don't see her hiding because she doesn't fit in. You might see her losing confidence, but you don't know how hard she's trying. For children in poverty, every day can be overwhelming. Amy has almost nothing left to give. Do you? Please sponsor an Australian child today. Search the Smith family. Ready to smash prices? Roof, roof. roof Seal's big 2020 deals are hot shot crazy. Whack 20% off roof restorations, re-roofing, roller shutters, gutters and downpipes. Any single or hit all four. Or be bowled over with no interest ever. That'll hit you for six free offers. Top deals and pay no interest during Roof Seal's 2020 hot shot crazy sale. one 7070 Roof, roof. Convicted drink drivers get a police record for at least 10 years. Imagine what that could do to your job prospects when it pops up at a police check. Ouch. It's never happened anywhere. A performance that's simply extraordinary. No, it's not. Not, 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 not. You the Chase, weekdays on 7. Good afternoon, Bethany Hisker with your latest traffic thanks to Mortgage Choice. In the parklands you'll find some speed restrictions on Hackney Road for Woman, so take care through there. And in the city you'll find road closures for the Fringe, Rundle Street, Rundle Road and East Terrace are affected. At Mortgage Choice they compare hundreds of home loans and provide expert advice at no cost to you. Make your home loan application a success by letting them do it all for you. Visit mortgagechoice.com.au. That's the latest Adelaide traffic. Now back to you, Rosanna. Thank you, Bethany. Let's go back to Morfittville now for a check of the weather. And Amelia, it's been a warm Adelaide Cup, hasn't it? Rosanna, it has. The winds are just starting to pick up at the moment, but otherwise a really lovely day, especially when you compare the past three out of four Adelaide Cups, which have been below average temperature-wise. But today we've been about on the money, so to speak, with a top just below 26 degrees. Now, we've got a bit of blue sky around here, but cloud is really starting to build this afternoon. Easterly winds have helped us warm up following an overnight low of 15.4 degrees. Now, we are set to warm up a fraction further tomorrow as a trough of low pressure forms in the west. It'll hang around for a few days before heading east by the end of the week. For now, that trough's likely to trigger the odd thundery shower over areas west of Sedona to Coober PD. And there could be the odd thundery shower about the eastern border in our far northeast pastoral district as well. 33 is the forecast top for Coober PD and Roxby Downs, 34 for Murray, 32 for Moomba. Looking fine further south as well, 26 for Mount Gambia, Victor Harbour and Kingscote, up to 29 in Narracourt and Nuriotpa, 31 in Renmark, Murray Bridge and Kadena, 32 for Port Pirie, 33 for Port Augusta and 26 for Port Lincoln. And after last week's heavy rain up north, a warning for flooding remains as water makes its way over the border from Queensland down the Diamantina River. In the city, down to 16 degrees overnight and we could feel more of those gully winds if you're in the hills tonight and maybe again in the morning. Plenty of sunshine's on the way tomorrow though, 30's the forecast top. Then would you believe we're set to go even warmer than that around the middle of the week. So after a mild end to February, I guess some more of our Mad March warmth is still sticking around, Rosanna. <laughs> Look forward to it. Thank you very much, Amelia, and enjoy yourself out there. That's all from the afternoon news team. Jane will have our next bulletin at 6 o'clock. From me, it's bye for now. Even the judges wouldn't attempt it. I wouldn't have done it myself. Even if Peter and I were cooking together in the kitchen, I wouldn't have done that. With the standard of food so high, will the dish be their crowning glory? Wow. Or will it send their entire team to elimination? It's either gonna work or not. There's no in between. New My Kitchen Rules, tonight, 7.30 on 7. 
If you're a smoker, I have a tip for you. Make a video of yourself before all this happens. Before you choose the bench tops and basins, or the doors and floors, think about an even bigger decision. The frame that holds everything up. A house frame made with true core steel has the inner strength and durability to remain straight and true for you and your family now and in the future. To find builders using true core steel, visit truecore.com.au. Roof Seal's big 2020 deals are hot shot crazy. Whack 20% off roof restorations, re-roofing, roller shutters, gutters and downpipes. 1-300-36-7070. Roof, roof. In 300 metres, turn right. But if you're driving a T60, turn left. Who needs roads when you're driving a T60? You have five-star safety and state-of-the-art technology. Use it. Your destination is on the left. Do you really want to stop? Didn't think so. The LDB T60 Pro, now from 27490 Drive Away. That's $1,500 off, and that's beaut. It's why more people are saying it's LDB for me. Doesn't that bloke look like Stephen Seagal? This bloke's Chris Hemsworth, 100%. Here comes the whole. They've all come to house rules, thinking they'll get their homes completely renovated. Are you get phone ringing. But not all of them will. Hello? You're about to take on the biggest challenge ever. First, they've got to do this. I got the, rules, I got them, the stakes are sky high. I got the rules, I got to earn your spot in this competition, you'll be renovating the penthouse of this iconic building. <laughs> is that a pool? It is huge. Buildings don't intimidate us. <laughs> we intimidate them. <laughs> the biggest renovations that TV has ever seen. They wanted luxury and glamour, you got luxury and glamour. The rules have changed. Welcome to High Stakes. Only on Seven. These four strangers must work as a team to win thousands of dollars, but standing in their way is one of the sharpest minds in Australia, the chaser. The chase is on.